Get Labor Day weekend over because I hear there's a little relief coming. There is some relief. It is going to be incredibly hot and humid. We have one more day mm -hmm. of what I've been calling ridiculously hot and humid. Uh, and then we're going to see some relief here heading in our direction. So temperatures still going to be into the 90s today with some spotty showers and thunderstorms. You know, yesterday we had just a few uh, thunderstorms pop up. And what did pop up produced some intense rainfall across parts of Bartholomew County. Also, my house in Johnson County got significant rainfall, almost around an inch in the Greenwood area and just north and west of Columbus, picking up about two inches. Now, later on this evening, we have another chance for some spotty showers and thunderstorms to develop. Not everyone is going to get that rain, but some of those thunderstorms that may develop could be on the stronger side. It's a low end risk, but it is a severe weather risk, a marginal out of a level one out of a level five. Some gusty winds and again, some really intense rainfall will be possible as well. Live look here in Speedway, where we do have a little bit of cloud cover. We're at 77 degrees right now in Speedway. Uh, dew point value sitting at 70. And whenever we have these readings climbing into the 70s, it feels miserable out there. And that's what we're going to see for the rest of the day today as well. High humidity values. But I promise you, we will see some relief here heading into the end of the weekend. 78 right now in Bloomington, 75 in Lafayette, and 76 in Kokomo. Current streak of those 90 degree days, we're sitting at six. Today would make seven. This is going to be the longest stretch that we have had since July of 20. 20. Today we'll get up to near 90 degrees at lunchtime, mostly sunny skies, a few clouds here or there around the uh, dinner hour. Uh, temperatures climbing right around 94 degrees. If we hit 94, that will tie the hottest temperature that we've seen all year, which was just set on Tuesday at 94. The record today is also 95, so pretty close to a record as well. 95 in Bloomington, Bedford, Columbus, 93 in Lafayette. And then upper 80s across parts of South Bend. Feels like temps today, again in the upper 90s, right around the triple digits, just short of that heat advisory criteria. During the day today, we're going to look for mainly dry conditions. This is future cast later this evening. A line of showers and thunderstorms developing in northern Indiana, turning more scattered in nature here across parts of central and southern Indiana by 11 o'clock. Could see a few spotty storms. So I think if you're going to be heading to the Indians game tonight, those Friday night football games, I think most locations should be okay to start off the game. By the end of the game, we could see a few of these spotty showers and thunderstorms. And that rain chance will continue overnight and also into the first part of your Saturday as well. So lots of college football games going on on Saturday, where I do think we're going to see the chance again for scattered. Not going to be a complete washout. But if you're heading up to Muncie, Ball State temperatures will be into the upper 70s. And temperatures will be into the upper 70s also. Uh, down in IU here in Bloomington, where we'll see those uh, spotty showers and thunderstorms as well. High temperatures tomorrow, noticeably different, 83 degrees, which is actually right around normal for this time of the year. Still going to be pretty humid. I want to mention that. It's still going to feel uncomfortable on Saturday, but eventually a secondary boundary will push through. And on Sunday, we will see humidity values really drop, and it is going to set the stage for a gorgeous start to the new week. In your Hensley Legal Group, seven-day forecast, 85 on Sunday, sunny skies. Heading into Labor Day, we'll get up to 76 degrees, sunny skies. But look at those nighttime lows. How about temperatures into the 50s? Dry conditions as we head into the middle part of the week, with those readings climbing back up into the 80s for Wednesday and Thursday.